Marjorie Case. And you're with? Blogger Reps. Blogger Reps. She's with Blogger Reps, and she's here at South by Southwest. And uh, we are going to ask her what Blogger Reps is all about. Blogger Reps is a social media PR firm, and we work with bloggers to promote products. And what's unique about our firm is that it was started by bloggers. We were kind of fed up with the way we were being marketed to, and we found it very impersonal and irrelevant. So we thought, you know what, we can do this better. So we put together this firm, and it's going really well. And we're starting up a nonprofit for bloggers. That's the big news that we released last week. So it's going to operate kind of like a, um, a union, a trade union, but we're going to really be dealing with issues like education and health, health insurance and things like that for bloggers. So let's say you're a blogger and uh, you want to hook up with your company. How, how would a blogger go about it? What would be the steps? Uh, definitely the website, um, bloggerreps.com. That's B-L-O-G-G-E-R-R-E-P-S.com. And there's a sign-up form where they can just fill out their information and uh, we'll get in touch with them. And uh, how does that process go once they get in touch with you? What happens then? Well, they're, they're put into some, like a database, and um, they, of course, receive our newsletter every month. And we also call upon them if there's something like a product we want them to review or, or we think they'd be interested in. And they can say no. It's absolutely fine with us and write whatever they want about it, but we just feel the need that you know we want to contact them in a very personal manner. And if they say no, we don't bother them again. Run me through like a case study, a real world example of ha how that would happen. Sure. Well, actually, one of our most successful programs was with a cable network, which shall rename, remain unnamed at this point. And uh, so they had a new show coming out, and it was a very specific uh, niche market. And so what we did was we talked to bloggers in the TV space, but also in various other genres that we thought would be interested in the content of the show. So we went after women bloggers and you know women women's community kinds of spaces we also talked to gay and lesbian bloggers and what was great is that we had a very high conversion rate we had bloggers in our network posting on average five to eight stories each on the show itself and that was pre-launch or pre-premiere and post-premiere and we did it by maintaining their interest and also giving them quality information and interviews and content for them to review that really made them the opinion leader in their fields and built them up as destination sites for the actual show. Now, do they get paid to do this? Absolutely not. We're very, very against the practice of pay per post. It is something I, myself as a blogger, are inherently against because I feel like, you know, it's taking away the whole idea of, or l the legitimacy of bloggers as opinion leaders. Okay. Um, and then people can't trust, well, are they just being paid to, or is it really their opinion? And so for us, we're all about radical transparency. <laughs> then what, how does the revenue model work then? Well, we, we have clients like the te television network or we've actually expanded and diversified into all different fields, electronics, food, um, software, and they actually come to us and they say, we want to reach the bloggers within your network. And I should say right now, we have uh, this network of bloggers that have signed up with a collective reach of over 40 million unique visitors per month. So we have really tapped into something that no one else has done before. That's, that's pretty big, 40 million uniques yeah. per month. That's, yeah. that's a lot of uniques. How many blogs does this encompass approximately? Uh, well, we haven't done a count recently, but I would guess around two to 300. But the bulk or the, the most traffic really relies within, I'd say, 75 to 100 of them. Uh, we like to go after bloggers in what we call the middle tail. And the middle tail is not the long tail and it's not mainstream media. It's those bloggers who receive between 50,000 and a million to 5 million unique visitors. And the difference between them and let's say the Scobles or the Arringtons is that they have an audience that subscribes to their message wholly. If you look at the comments section in any kind of Arrington's post, you have a lot of people who are for and against him. Whereas with the middle tail bloggers have this audience that built in, trust them, kind of like the cable pundits on CNN. They really do trust their opinion. So whatever information they bring to the audience, to their readers, they're going to trust. And that includes our clients. Okay. Now, for those that don't know what a tail is, tell, explain that uh, concept, okay? Okay, well, the long tail was coined by Chris Anderson in an article in Wired Magazine, I think in 2004, uh, which basically described the whole collective reach of smaller uh, audiences that might not have the same kind of influence over consumer buying power offline as they do online. And so, for example, um, there was a book 
written about a uh, plane crash in the Andes, and it was the same time when another book that became a national bestseller came out. And because of the recommendation factor and the rating system in Amazon, that second book went gangbusters and sold out and had to be reprinted. But that would have never happened in a brick and mortar store because there was no real estate. There wouldn't, they wouldn't have been given the real estate and, you know, in the store itself. So it's that idea that this community and these rating systems and the recommendations have really changed the way people buy and, you know, communicate. Where does the word tail play into that? Um, I think it's just, you know, the head of the comet versus the middle versus okay. the tail, and that's sort of like how it's smaller and smaller. But I, don't quote me on that. That's all right. Well, you, well I won't quote you, but you just said it. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, that's fine. Yeah. So uh, what about the future? Where are you guys headed? Well, the nonprofit is pretty huge. Um, we really feel like there's been nothing like this before. And the cities have a resource where they can talk and have community and education. We're going to build a wiki and a destination site where people can share information and resources and hopefully have mentors and people they can look to for information and advice. It's for new bloggers as well as veteran bloggers. And we want to launch conferences. And we just really want to make this a user-generated nonprofit, which I don't think has been done before. Okay, say your name again and what you do with the company and the, and the website address again. Uh, my name is Marjorie Case, and the name of our company is Blogger Reps, and bloggerreps.com, that's B-L-O-G-G-E-R-R-E-P-S, and we're a social media PR firm, soon to be a nonprofit for bloggers. Now, are you uh, speaking here, or, or do you have a booth here, or are you just attending and kind of uh, networking, or maybe all of those or none of those? Actually, I'm, I'm attending, um, and I'm networking. Uh, I just sort of decided to come last minute, and I'm so glad I did, um, because a lot of my friends are here, and I, this is my fifth time at South by Southwest, and, you know, I couldn't pass it up. What uh, what's good sessions are coming up, that would, for at least for your uh, from your perspective? There's this one actually at 5 o'clock on social networking and marketing, and Rohit um, Bargava is actually heading that up. And I'm a big fan of his blog. He works for Ogilvy, and he writes a lot about the long tail, et cetera. And so that's one I'm looking forward to. The Henry Jenkins uh, panel was fantastic. The talk that he just had the keynote. I'm a big fan of his from grad school. I mean, he was he's great. He's just wonderful. All right. Well, uh, I've really enjoyed chatting with you and, and hearing about uh, bloggerreps.com and uh, what you're doing. Uh, any random thoughts or anything else you want to add? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, take bloggers more seriously <laughs> because we do have power over consumer buying habits and also swaying opinion. And, you know, just keep reading blogs and building them. And it's never too late and it's never too early to start blogging. Great. Well, thanks for coming, and great to meet you, and uh, appreciate your, uh, your participation in this interview. Thank you.